Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright. And we got a probably a really good one here. Hopefully. It's been a minute since I've done a Fremont beer. So um, let's see what we got here. It's from Fremont Brewing. It's up from their Head Full of Dynamite series. And um, they're from Seattle, Washington. And I was on... Um, I was trying to find out on their website which one this was, but I couldn't find it. I didn't even see the can on there. Um, oh, here we go. I found it on the can. It's uh, version 49, okay? So um, it's got a date of 8 18 23, so it's super fresh. It's like three less than three weeks old. And, uh, yeah, I picked up four pints of this at Total Wine, or no, actually Whole Foods for 15 bucks out the door. And um, I've been really impressed with, um, with um, the whole Head Full of Dynamite series. Uh, it's been really good. That's what the can looks like. Yeah, I was on their website looking for it. They don't have it up there yet, but, yeah, we saw it on the can, okay? Okay. So it's vision version 49 okay so we got this puppy super fresh let's uh crack it open and see what we got here do a little roll action there i'm just going to do a normal pour not hard not soft and um i'll save a little bit in the bottom in case there's some goodies down there. I'm going to get all them goodies up. I can't remember the last time I did a, a Fremont uh, head full of dynamite. Yeah, there's definitely goodies coming out. Nice goodies. So I'm going to go ahead and get a quick thumbnail here. All right, one moment. Don't want to do a selfie, no. Let me turn that just a little more. There we go. There we go. Handled. Okay. Let's get the tweaker light off here. The goofball glasses. And um, looks really good. Okay, they always have these fancy paint jobs on the cans. So we have a medium small head. It looks pretty tight though. Yeah, pretty good. Frothy, creamy, silky, little foamy, a little bit. Totally hazy though. Looks like a New England style. Looks good, like a light orange or light amber color. Yeah. Can't really see anything through it, really. Just a little tiny bit. Not completely hazy. So let's check out the aroma. Yeah, super citrusy, orangey, tangerines. Little lemon zest. Mango, some guava. Pineapple, kind of like the whole nine yards. Smells really good, though. Smells like a New England style to me. It smells zesty. Let's check it out. Cheers. Yeah, it's, it's tasty. Medium mouthfeel. There's no booziness. What was that ABV again? Let's see here. It's, uh, 6.8, was it? Yeah, 6.8. It's 
Got a little grapefruit peel going on in the back end. No booziness. No raw alcohol. Very sharp on the, uh, like, grapefruit peel. Very nice quality. This is a sharper one, though. It's very zesty. It's leaving some nice lacing on the glass there. Orange, some tangerine or something, a little grapefruit, a uh, little pineapple. It's got a bite to it. Really nice lacing on the glass, though. Very zesty, refreshing, citrusy, fruity, tropical fruity. It's nice. Typical for the uh, Dynamite, head full of Dynamite series from uh, series from Fremont. Uh, the whole series is, I think there's maybe one that wasn't super outstanding. But for the most part, uh, they're all been really good. See if I can pull up some of the malts. Yeah, it's just all it's all fruity and like zesty, zingy. pretty darn good I would say um, grapefruit orange are the main characters of this yeah totally tastes very similar to all the other ones they put out from this series Yeah, I'm going to swill it one more time. We'll wrap this puppy up short and sweet. Like I like my woman. Kidding. Yeah, very nice quality to be expected from this brewery. They never disappoint. Uh, this is a legit beer. Would I buy it again? Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's fresh, it's uh, what I like, you know, like those uh, tropical fruity, uh, citrusy type beers. You know, it's almost like an orange juice beer, pretty much. And I enjoy those. I think they're, they're taste. you get a lot of, you know, flavors for your money, you know. You know, it gives a, it's a nice counterbalance to West Coast, uh, you know, IPAs. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, that's what the can looks like once again. So on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half B and C average, I'm going to give this a 4.7. I think it's really good. And so I'm going to kick back and enjoy this and uh, just uh, be blessed that I have uh, such a great beer in my hand and my belly. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. Catch y'all later. Cheers. See ya.